Hello, good day. Once again, this is Arvin Alonso demonstrating to you basics of IT application tools. Now, this is particularly in Microsoft Word. Well, I know for a fact that you are familiar with charts and you prepare your charts using your spreadsheet software like Microsoft Excel. But how if we would like the chart to be directly inserted into the Microsoft Word document. So, let me demonstrate this one. We go to Insert Chart under the Illustrations group and then select the chart type from the dialog box. Okay? So, you are familiar with the bar or column graph, the line graph, and the pie chart. What's the difference between bar and column? It's just the way the bar are uh, presented. For column graph, the bars are standing, while the bar graph, the bars are lying or in horizontal uh, position. So say for example that we click pi and then select the subtype. I would like to use a three-dimensional pie. Click OK. And then take note that this will appear if you have the active chart. So you just need to modify the content of this. If there are more data, then you just click and drag the fill handle of this. Say, for example, I would like to report the sales from January to June. January, February, March, April, May. June. Okay. So you notice as you adjust this one, this should adjust. Okay. Say for example, we have 100,000 here. We have 79,000 here. This is 100,000. Okay. Then we have 150,000 here. Then for April, for example, we have 90,000. For May, we have a sales of 87,000. And for June, we have a sales of 250,000. You notice that as you type the data, the size of the pie will change automatically. So if you are done, close this the worksheet area and there you have the chart. Take note also that once your chart is active in your document, you have the design tab and the format tab okay under the design tab you can change the style okay you can have a quick layout so for example you would like to show the percentage here okay so i would like to show the percentage of each pie you can Add chart element. Say, for example, the chart title. Uh, actually, there's a chart title here, sales. But you can modify it here. Sales for the first six months. Okay. Add chart element. You could, you can put a legend. Uh, anyway, the legend is on the right. You can reposition it. Say, for example, at the bottom. Okay. 
data labels if you want to it's inside end outside end if you want to or best fit the legend uh, the data labels are the percentage that you see here okay you can have more data labels if you want to that's under the sign tab now what if you would like to edit the data so you have here the edit data so that the worksheet will appear again okay so that's the sign tab you can change the chart type if you want to say for example you would like a column graph for this you just select and then click ok if you want to i'll just cancel it because anyway the, the more appropriate graph for this is pie chart then you have the format okay just the same whatever you do with the format tab like changing the word style word art style the shape style the wrapping and so on and so forth that is what you can do with the format tab so that's all i hope you learned something new in this video presentation thank you god bless everyone